NBC, your local news leader. Pouring out a cold one to help Old Glory. Earlier this week, we brought you the latest in local efforts to restore that World War II aircraft and now a new beverage that one local brewery hopes will make a difference. News 10 ABC's Harrison Grubb explains. Glass to help a World War II plane get back in the air. It's not painful. You know, to be able to uh, give back a little bit by having a beer, is it? <laughs> the cidery and brewery at Indian Ladder Farms officially launching their Old Glory American Lager this morning, with a portion of proceeds going to the continued restoration of Old Glory. For me, it feels great. Uh, it's like any way I can do, give back to the community, especially if, if there's an airplane involved. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I love airplanes. Mechanics at the hangar at 743. Working for months to rebuild the B-25 Mitchell, which made a forced landing in California in 2020 on its way back to Albany from commemorating the end of World War II. As the Prescott Foundation works to revive a piece of American history. Sure, you can go to museums in different places and see a static display B-25 sitting there. But when you talk to people and when they actually go, wow, what I remember is the sound or the smell of that plane running in, you know, or the experience of going for a ride on one. Those are memories that last forever. During the war, she flew combat missions for the U.S. in the Mediterranean, and the brewery made sure that the beer in her name tastes like what Americans would have enjoyed when she battled the Axis powers. This is great. It does taste like the 40s. Using ingredients that were popular in the capital region during the 40s to create the lager. For David Prescott, the founder of the Prescott Foundation, it's an exciting collaboration and also the first beer he's had in over a year. I have a package in to uh, rejoin the Navy right now and I had to pass my physical. So uh, I hadn't drank a beer in over a year, so this tasted amazing. The Prescott Foundation hopes Old Glory can be back in the air in the coming years. Reporting in Altamont, Harrison Grubb, News 10, ABC.